popping? What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another great episode of Simone with the Spazzers. I'm Simone, bringing you guys the daily sports talk. So if you're new here or if you're old here you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you start what you're doing. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe and keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check the links down below. Number one, to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel and help fuel this NFL draft that is coming up ever so quickly. Also, make sure you shop down below to shop the official Samoa Dispizor Smurfs Collection. Plus, subscribe to our podcast, Tough Calls, where me and Dylan have some of your favorite sports analysts, former and current athletes, chop it up with us on the podcast. So if you don't want to miss any of that conversation, why would you want to miss it? Go ahead and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. So today, guys, we're talking about some more NFL mock drafts. You already know what time it is. It's almost, what's today's date? Today's the 6th. Today's the 5th. So we got 24 days until the NFL draft is coming up quick. So we got to get these scenarios off, period. Also, today I'm drinking out of my Philly special because I'm feeling special on this Monday. Beautiful Monday. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So today we're going to talk about the Eagles trading up in the draft. Now, I'm cool. I'm straight with us at the number 12 pick. I'm fine with that decision. I know some of you guys are ready to get Howie Roseman's head because of that move, trading back from 6 to 12. I'm cool with it. But this scenario is for you birds who are not cool with it. And you know, I give the people what they want. So if y'all want to hear a scenario where the Eagles are traded up, you know what I'm saying? Simone, just put Gotcha. 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 So, let's talk about the Eagles trading up to the number four overall pick. The Eagles trading with the Atlanta Falcons. Now, I heard through the grapevine. Yes, I heard it through the grapevine. My Falcons insider, Dylan Matthews, hometown take, make sure you check him out. He has been saying the word on these ATL streets is that the Atlanta Falcons are interested in trading back. And I have seen scenarios on these mock draft boards where the Atlanta Falcons are trading back. So, hey, why not trade back with the Eagles? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> why not trade back with us? You know what I'm saying? We have an additional second round pick from the Carson Wentz trade. So let's say we trade up. We let the Falcons eat on our sec one of our second round picks, whether it's number 70 or number 85 overall. Of course, they want number 70. But hopefully we can finesse them into taking that number 85 overall. And we move up to number four. Moving up to number four will guarantee us pits or chase. We can have our pick. We can have our pit. We can take our pit between pits or chase if we move up to number four. So that is like the ideal situation for some of you birds. Like I said, I'm cool with chilling at number 12. We got needs to address number 12. Make sure you're checking out my other videos where you, you can hear why I'm cool with us staying at, with us moving back to number 12. But for you guys who are uncomfortable with picking at number 12, here's a scenario we could trade up with the Falcons. Now the Falcons will end up selecting, the Falcons will end up selecting um, Jalen Waddle at number 12. Now, let me tell you why the Falcons will be interested in trading back. And the Falcons, they're pretty much locked in with Julio Jones at this point, as far as I, I said Julio Jones. They're pretty much locked in with Matt Ryan at this point. They restructure his deal to make it seem like that they want to commit to Matt Ryan for at least the next two years. So let me go ahead and read off um, the Atlanta Falcons quarterback situation, and it'll tell you why. They will be interested in trading back because, I mean, if you're not going after Javon Chase, if you're not going after um, a quarterback, why would you stay at number four? Mind you, the Atlanta Falcons have a slew of wide receivers. Of course, Julio Jones is on his way out, and that's why the Atlanta Falcons will select the best available receiver at number 12, but it's not an instant need for them. They have other needs to fill. So Atlanta um, is committed to Matt Ryan for at least two years after restructuring his contract during free agency. Per over the cap, the Falcons take on $65 million in dead cap money if Ryan is traded prior to June 1st, and the team takes on $40.5 million in dead money if it trades him before 2022. While it's enticing to stay put at number four and secure the best non-quarterback in the class, Atlanta will be foolish not to sell the pick to the highest bidder looking to come up um, to number four, adding at least two future top 50 picks um, to move down 11 spot to move down Eight spots in this situation is better than any single non-quarterback selection at number four overall. And that includes Pitts, Jamar Chase, Panay Sewell, etc. So as of right now, it looks like the Atlanta Falcons are locked in Matt Ryan. That's none of my business. 
Okay? Hashtag none of my business. Would I be locked in on Matt Ryan? No. But is that my business? No. Falcons, do whatever y'all want to. Y'all want to be locked in on Matt Ryan? That's none of my business. Now, obviously, the Atlanta Falcons have to make some move and shore up their QB position. But if they're going to be sticking with Matt Ryan the next two, next two, for the next two years, they don't need one of those day one starter ready quarterbacks like Lance, like um, freaking Trevor Lawrence. They can go and get somebody out the second round, third round, and develop him behind Matt for the next two years. You know what I'm saying? Um, and also, there's going to be some interesting quarterbacks hitting free agency soon. So who knows? They might want to go that right that route later down the road like i said it's none of my business just come up off that number for a pick give it to us let us move up also they will be taking and as i'm hearing in these atlanta streets they will be taking the top available wide receiver because obviously Julio jones is on his way out the door and they can add somebody like waddle who can move in um you know thrive in the slot but can take some of that outside time and kind of balance things out with Calvin Ridley, Julio Jones, Russell Gage is on the come up too for the Falcons. So their mind, they want to get Waddle or best available receiver. By all means, have them and let us go ahead and move up to number four. So let me know what you guys think about this scenario. You think it's likely to happen? You think it's not going to happen? You think we chill in at 12? What do you guys think? Um, also, let me know what you want to see in my next videos. It's probably going to be some more mock drafts. I might drop another video later today. Hmm. Who knows? Or I might, you know, wait till tomorrow but let me know what you guys want to see make sure you like this video make sure you leave a comment make sure you subscribe make sure you keep rocking with me also make sure you buy me that coffee to help fuel this channel also make sure you shop the official swim with the spizzoids merch collection and make sure you subscribe to the podcast tough calls with me and dylan have some of your favorite sports analysts reporters former and current athletes chopping up with us on the pod and it's up to you guys next time